Rachel and today I'm back we're going to do a flip through of July in my Salogy. Now I know that July seems like quite a while ago um, but for one reason or another I was a bit late in July we had to back plan we had three weeks to catch up um, just I was just busy and I didn't get around to doing it I had a lot on so yeah we are going to flip through and see how July turned out now that I have finally got up to date all the videos of the plan with me's are on my channel because I did go back and did put them up uh, but yeah let's start off with my cover page so this is my cover page I did it in a bit of a rush I do like it but I feel like there should be something in the middle of the image like I need a, a person or a character I've got a girl actually in here will she go I just feel like there needs to be something in there look at Pooks he could be in there if uh if it was a cartoon spread but it's not where is the girl that i'm looking for this girl here do you reckon she could be in here like she could just be on her holidays i quite like her i've had her for ages and i haven't got anywhere else to put her i'm going to leave her there she's having a little fashion insta moment on holiday um and yeah i was originally going to put some acetate over here as well i was looking for the josephine bow designs one that's got the tropicana leaves on very similar to this but i didn't end up picking it up so that's how this ended up turning out the calendar i just found on google i always just search on google for the calendar so july 2023 monthly and just see what comes up this is one that i found my tab as always is from josephine bow designs and then moving into the monthly we decided to use a deco sheet from happy shape papery it was from the new aloha collection or new at the time it's a very pretty collection you need to go and pick it up if you haven't already my calendars are from the grumpy tortoise they're a free printable that's available on her website and i like how this filled up it filled up nicely i don't like having a blank calendar whilst i moan that i'm busy all the time i do quite like how the calendar looks when i've got a lot on all the time uh, which i know makes absolutely no sense whatsoever but that's how it is then we're on to my mood tracker again this is a freebie printable from the grumpy tortoise my mood tracker didn't turn out too bad did it we had a really tired week at the end of july maybe that's why i didn't film around then and i was just busy here i think it was like these three weeks that we had to catch up on um, but i'm happy with how that turned out not too many paranoid days and not too many sad days and that's what i'm striving for in my life at the moment but then we move on to July. We are in the YouTube tracker and this is just absolutely pitiful. I'm so sorry guys that I haven't been better. Um, I've set my game up at the moment though. We've had videos and videos and videos and videos for quite a while. Um, and yeah, it's nice to be catching up and everything. But in July we got eight videos. Uh, August is definitely better. My monthly to-do list or important list was just rubbish. Um, oh, it was yeah it was sky that was why as well that i didn't film um and or i didn't upload i did film i didn't get to upload because i had no internet and i couldn't uh, so at least that wasn't quite as um i was gonna say lazy i'm not lazy just exhausted anyway these are from the aloha collection this is just from a pad from planner face um, and I sometimes just pop it in as a bit of a to-do list, but we didn't get much on there at all, did we? And then we've got this week, which is a kit that's from Happy Bees. It's very, very cute. I've actually re-bought it because I did film a plan with me for this week, and then I scrapped it because my mum called me partway through the video um, to let me know what had happened about Brian, and I tried to carry on filming, and it just was awful so i scrapped it um anyway the kit is gorgeous i've re-bought it so that i can do a plan with me with it because you definitely need to see me using it it's just pretty it's so so pretty um, and we went for two days to a page so a week on four pages planner first oh that was such an exciting day i absolutely loved it and then this was the week of the formula one silverstone race so i decided to use this kit from planner face and we did we did the same so we did a week on four pages but we did it vertically instead of horizontally i had to think about which way was which then <laughs> almost heard the cogs whirling didn't you now this was one of the weeks that i had to catch up on and just decided to use a it was a book that i got from one of the big box stores you know um like joanne's or michael's or hobby lobby one of those and it was something that robin sent over for me a long time ago and i never ended up using it because i just wasn't sure how to it's it's a lot of stickers but not necessarily all stickers that i want to use together if that makes sense anyway we made it work with this and i'm glad that i did and i just had some spare date covers from a planner face kit my washi was from josephine bow designs 
and then I decided for the next catch up this was a catch up week as well so we did the whole Bonichi Weeks layout in here and we used lots of stuff in a mint green colourway and I love how it's turned out we've got some date covers from Josephine Bow Designs this is Josephine Bow Designs so is this, so is this, so is this um, this was from a Happy Planner book maybe but it just fitted in as was this um, and yeah it was a week that I back planned so we didn't have much on here but ordinarily this would be a big to-do list um, if I was doing it on a week that I was actually using there and then and then this last week in July is the last week that I had to catch up on this is going to be a plan with me on my channel possibly after this video has gone up because that one's going to take longer to edit I currently have around 15 videos on my iPad to edit and they're all in clips because I have to edit bits out because I talk garbage all the time or I sneeze or I um, burp or I might occasionally trump um, <laughs> obviously you don't want to hear that um, so yeah we have to um, we have to edit all out so it's in clips so sometimes if I need to get a video up but I don't have much time I will choose a shorter video because it doesn't take as long to edit but this was a kit that was called Wildflower and it's from Harriet Wright Designs I got it in a mystery grab kit so a mystery kit pull mystery kit pull um, and yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Really, really pretty. I just love how it turned out. And unintentionally, until I got to this point, I was sort of doing this diagonal thing. And then I thought, oh, I'll carry that on. It looks really pretty. And I just love how it's turned out. Uh, that is how July turned out in my B6 Salgy. And that's going to be it from me for today. If you like this video, if you can give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I'll love you forever. And I'll see you soon. Bye.